Generation 2 Past the Gun Review! Woohoo! Welcome back to you in our Past Gun Review! Today we're going to cover Generation 2 Scram! Yeah, Scram. If you like G2, then Scram! Get it? <laughs> anyway. Here's Generation 2 Scram. Um, he is a Corvette. A very interesting looking Corvette. I do like this. This is almost like a concept type that they would have had back then. Very, very wide rear end on these. Although the actual Corvettes do have wide rear ends, but this is much wider. I think this is like a flared out type of job. A little different. I do like it. It's much different than Trax. Uh, Trax is actually obviously bigger, different transformation and everything, but he doesn't look as crazy as this. This almost feels like a blown up version of the um, the mini bots because if you guys ever had wind charger or, or tailgate they they were corvettes too and yeah well, it's kind of cool anyway i do like these guys these guys are really neat it's got this really odd squiggly pink thing going all the way around him which i do like that i don't know what it is with that deco but i do like it it's really cool it's very weird um G2 emblem right there, along with the Autobot across here, and these are your stickers, and obviously a couple stickers here for the taillights. So, you know, very G2, very awesome. Not a lot of robot kibble underneath. Um, gun actually sits in there just like the other ones do. But let's look at the Generation 2 European version, which he would have been named Scram as well. They didn't change the name on this one, unlike the other two. But it's very cool. I do like the hot pink. I think the hot pink works better. This window is kind of muffed up a little bit, but eh, I can look past that because you know it's G2 and it's hard to get anyway, and these things are awesome, so whatever. I actually still have the stickers around the back on this one, which is kind of weird. Actually, those aren't stickers now that I look at it. Those are tampled. Wow. God, I'm not paying attention to anything. Anyway. It's been a long month. Anyhow, here's G2 Scram, European style. So let's go ahead and get these guys transformed real quick. First things first, you'll know, pop the engine out. The engine is just kind of friction held via kind of in between these two bits here that are kind of hollowed out for the gun. <clears throat> it just kind of friction holds between this. Now, when you do get one of these guys. These guys are probably the most notorious for the hoods missing or an arm missing. Mainly because the uh, the hood literally is just friction held on and it's a large piece that moves around on top of these arms. can easily be pulled off because all they are a little mushroom pegged on. So they just kind of pop right off. Um, like I mentioned earlier on one of my earlier reviews. Get up, this down. Brycey hooked me up. But Brycey hooked me up with this guy and he did not have one of the arms. Well, obviously you can tell I fixed that because the European and the American versions are identical. So I found a junker version of this guy and popped up the arm and put on the other arm. Hey! It's cool now because it's Scram. And Scram's awesome. And Scram deserves the hot pink a lot. But anyway, push this down. And see, this thing just tried to pop off. It just happens with these guys. Um, the head does pop up and down on this one here as well. Just like this one. It's just obviously, like I said, the. Uh, I don't have one, but one gun, so. There you go. There's scrape. <coughs> Jeez, what the heck is up with that? Sorry. Um, that's Graham in his robot mode. Got a sticker here on the torso, and then a couple here on the knees. There's no, it's, like I said, missing on this guy. And really, really cool. I do like them a lot. These guys are well worth the dime. And you guys are probably wanting to see the head sculpts on these guys a little better. I just love that pink light piping. I mean... Even when you don't want it to glow, it glows. Look at that. And then 
you got the American version, which is kind of lame. I mean, it looks like a dead robot anyway. Uh, just, I don't know, the smoky colored plastic didn't well, work well for the eyes. Works good for the window, but not really for the eyeballs. But anyhow, yeah, stay tuned. I have some more coming. So, I'll catch you guys next time. This blast. Um, and this is Beezer! Beezer!